What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we're not working on race car. We're working on the tow pig. Just got this 2000 F350. It does have that nice 7.3 engine in it. Pulled the race car trailer this last time. Awesome. Had a little bit of an issue. When we got off the highway the first time, it didn't really want to go into second gear. I'd have to let off the gas and then it would shift and then we would go on. It's one of those things in order to drag race, I got to be at the track. So we got to make this sure this thing is capable. So let me show you what we're doing today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Go to turbojohnracing.com. Get yourself some merchandise. We've also got a giveaway happening. You can win a flip coin. We're going to give away four flip coins. Very easy to do. Let me show you how to do that. Head on over to turbojohnracing.com forward slash lucky to get your free entries. This contest ends on the 21st of July, and we're going to pick four random people to win these flip coins. All right, guys, so here we go. We already done a few upgrades. We already got these new headlights in here. What a pain in the butt that was. That was very interesting. But it's got the nice, uh, it's got some type of LED lights in there. They're super bright. Makes it so you can see really good. So the headlights were good. They're fine. We're going to take this bumper off here. This bumper is going on Ryan's truck because his has got a big old dent in it. That one doesn't have a dent. Brian's got another one off of another vehicle. I think it come off of an ex uh, excursion. So that's the one that we're going to get on mine. So what we're going to do today, the first thing we're going to do is I've already got, the, of course, the grill out and uh, we've got the uh, top off here and way down there is the transmission cooler and at first i thought that was the transmission cooler and i was like oh my gosh but that, apparently that is the power steering uh cooler so we're going to take this off we got a mishimoto the other thing that i'm struggling with is it looks like my truck is got blown up so i condensed everything out of the excursion into the truck so I've got to figure out something. Why are you laughing at me, Ryan? So I've got to figure out something, either uh, one of the flat uh, bed covers or either a actual uh, a camper shell. I don't know, a toolbox might work too. But um, yeah, so we got to figure something out to get the tools out of here. Otherwise I'm gonna be going to the track by myself every every single time. Oh, there's a cherry too. I don't know how did that, I don't know how that escaped out of the bag. I'll be eating that one later. <laughs> so I got a, Mishimoto, this thing was kind of expensive. It was like 350 bucks, but apparently this is the best one that they make. And it's a direct swap for this vehicle. Let's check it out. So here you go, Mishimoto. And this is, where is the part number? There is the part number. If you guys ever want to do it, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Ooh, that is significantly bigger than the other. Very nice. All right. So apparently that's it. This has rubber lines in there too. Oh, yeah. So this is supposed to be a direct kit to where it's a direct bolt on. Let's see what we got. Oh, I see what they did. So one of the things, the 6 cooler has got half inch lines and they just reduced it down. So half inch down to the smaller 7.3. All right, we got it, guys. Appreciate the help, Ryan. He's gonna snatch the old cooler and double it up on his and do two. So it fits down in there. You can see it's just got nice, it's got a couple inch gap on it. I think that's pretty cool, guys. It is definitely bigger. Uh, the lines, it come with everything it needed to, to bolt it right on. 
I just had to snip. One of the lines was a little long. I had to zippy tie my headlight in too. Did you have to do that on yours? What? No. There was no no spot down. I couldn't get the old line up. <laughs> so I just zippy tied it. Hey, it works good. Lined up. I didn't have a thing. This one is not. Stop laughing at my hack job. <laughs> Everything I want is junk. So, <laughs> so I, it's going to look pretty cool though. And it's got a nice billet grill too that Brian had left over from another truck. So the billet grill actually turned out pretty good. Air conditioner is kind of okay, but you can see my condenser is kind of beat up a little bit. I tried to straighten it out some, but I, I, did, I wasn't real successful. Um, <laughs> yeah, that right there is really beat up, isn't it? But it cools okay other than like when you're sitting dead still. When you're sitting dead still, it's not as good. So we're going to swap the bumper out real fast. Uh, anything else we need to do back here? We good? Mm -hmm. I think we're good on the front. We need to get a catcher nut and put something in the headlight instead of a zip tie. Ain't nothing wrong with zip tie. They might shake a little bit going down the road. They go blah, 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 blah. It's okay. John. <laughs> and oh, and I got to change transmission fluid real fast. We're going to change the filter and the fluid. Filter too. I was just going to change the fluid. Not the filter, but we ain't got a filter too. So we're going to change it all. Bam, all right, guys. Well, that looks a ton better. I gotta get some tow hooks up here for the front. Of course, the cat license plate's gonna come off. Front bumper cover, that is the exact same color as the side. So that matches absolutely perfect. Eh, it might be a shade darker, but it's-, it's Custom color matching. That'd be an extra $600 custom, right there. I know, right? That actually looks really good though. This is, dude, I'm digging it. I am digging it. Okay, so now we gotta take the, drop the transmission pan real fast. And we're going to drain the transmission fluid and change the filter. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up. We got done. We got all the transmission fluid changed. Got the filter changed. Everything looked pretty good. So I'm hoping we're just having a heat issue. Because when I'm normally driving this truck, everything seems fine. It shifts perfect. The only time it's giving me any shifting issues is after we're pulling for an extended period of time. And here you can really see the difference in size between these transmission coolers. The Mishimoto one, it was kind of expensive, but hopefully it's gonna be worth it. The size difference is huge and it's gonna do a lot better cooling, I hope. I did not get any cooling data before. I don't have a transmission temperature gauge, but hopefully I'll get one of those installed soon and we'll see what happens. Hopefully this is gonna be the fix. Super easy to install. All right, guys, don't forget to head on over to turbojohnracing.com to grab yourself some merchandise, get the cool flip coin and some t-shirts. And don't forget, you can get entered to win yourself a free flip coin as well. Thanks, guys. See y'all soon.